Hello team, welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan, MSP. It's the Ukraine War News Update, second part thereof for the 17th of July 2024, although it might be the first that you see. I'm having problems with my first video being restricted by YouTube for no good reason whatsoever. And so uh, this might be posted first, even though it's recorded second. Apologies if I'm confusing you. Right, military aid and aid in general uh, to Ukraine as well as equipment. Japan is arranging to shoulder $3.3 billion in loans to Ukraine as part of support to be provided by the G7, $50 billion, utilising interest from Russian sovereign assets, according to Kyoto News. Interesting that, that it's not just shouldering, or I don't know how that works, whether the shouldering of the loan, if they default on a loan, that that gets paid for with frozen Russian assets, uh, profits in Japan. I don't know. I don't know the exact details of that one. Um, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, the EBRD, will provide Ukraine with 200 million euros. Funds are allocated to support nefto gas, uh, gas and of Ukraine in the creation of strategic reserves and natural gas and support of energy security. Of course, energy security is so important for economic security and stability as well as the well-being of the uh, of the population, especially with, I know we're in the middle of summer, but with winter on the horizon. Now, Ukraine has signed an agreement with Czechia to build an ammunition factory and produce Czech assault rifles. The agreement was signed between uh, Celia and Bella uh, and Ukro Bronze Service, according to the Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal. There will be more details coming out, I think, with regard to Czechia because there was an agreement and signed between two countries and Shmihal was over in Czechia yesterday. Uh, Belgium and Ukraine have signed an agreement that launches cooperation in the field of recovery and provides or, for investments in the amount or to the amount of 150 million euros over four years. It will focus on rebuilding critical infrastructure and reconstructing underground shelters for schools in the Kiev and Chernihiv region. So Belgium getting involved there. Of course, that will probably be some sort of economic stimulus for Belgium as well because I'm sure those contracts will be to Belgian country uh, companies sorry to go and assist Ukraine in their recovery. Uh, Lithuania is to provide Ukraine with energy equipment worth nearly $55 million. Uh, Lithuanian companies will provide Ukraine with that energy assistance uh, worth more than 50 million euros according to the U Ukraine's energy ministry and again goes to uh, this idea that energy security is so important and their energy infrastructure has been absolutely hammered by the Russians. Shells previously designated as expired brought back into service have been brought back into service, says the Defence Ministry. It's interesting here that the Defence Ministry has returned to Ukrainian soldiers a quote a significant amount of ammunition that was slated to be disposed of before the start of Russia's war against Ukraine in 2014. So eight years old as it was from oh no sorry ten years old from 2014 to 2024, and even then it was rendered uh, unusable because it was too old. Well now they're bringing back those old um, I guess pieces of ordnance. I don't know whether they're just going to throw them to the front line or whether they're going to work on making sure that they are safe and usable. Um, that's how desperate they are, needing as much uh, ammunition as they can get their hands on. Now, big story developing today. It starts with this. So Greece is about to decommission 32 older F-16 Block 30 fighter jets and buy up to 40 F-35 multi-role jets from the USA, according to, in this case, Al Jazeera, but many... Uh, many media outlets are reporting this. Greece is preferring to sell the 32 F-16s to the US, upgrade them and get them sent to the Ukrainian Air Force is the claim here. So Euromide and Press are talking about this more explicitly in terms of Ukraine. So Greece to transfer 32 decommissioned F-16s to Ukraine. According to diplomatic sources, Greece is preparing to significantly boost its military support for Ukraine. The country plans to transfer 32 decommissioned F-16 fighter jets. Well, you could argue they're trying to support Ukraine or you could argue that they're actually selling them on to the US to upgrade and the US are getting them to Ukraine. I don't know who is paying for these or whether they are donating them. Uh, donating or selling, there is quite a big difference, uh, morally speaking. 
Um, according to Konstantinos Filis, a professor of international relations who directs the Institute of Global Affairs at the American College of Greece, the decision follows a narrowly avoided incident on March 6th when Russian missile struck near Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and the Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis in Odessa. Quote, as we were getting into our cars, we had a large explosion. We were all concerned, especially if you consider that we are in an open space with no cover. It's quite savage, Mitsotakis said at the time. And I wonder if that, because there was a belief from Mitsotakis that that was purposefully meant for him um phyllis said it was a deliberate message from russia quote it was a message to greece a message to the rossophilic portion of greek society uh, the incident has further galvanized greek support for ukraine public opinion in greece has shifted dramatically with favorable views of russia dropping from 70 percent before the war to just 30 percent last year Greek has consistently supported Ukraine since the war's onset. Days after the invasion began, the country sent two C-130 plane loads of military equipment to Ukraine. This early support prompted criticism from the Russian embassy in Athens, which called on the Greek politicians to come to their senses and stop anti-Russian propaganda. During these two years of Russian war against Ukraine, Greece has supplied Ukraine with artillery shells and stinger missiles and armor personnel carriers. It has been quite difficult to get that stuff there, though. They've been waiting for backfilling. Uh, they are always perpetually worried about uh, military confrontation with Turkey vis-a-vis -vis Cyprus. And as a result, they don't want to give uh, too much of their capability away uh, without making sure they've got something uh, in its place. So, yeah, they are. They have been helping Ukraine and there was talk about an awful lot of uh, Russian air defence equipment going to Ukraine at some point. It, we sort of gone radio silence since then. So I don't know how much Greece has given to Ukraine, but they are definitely one of these nations that can could conceivably either be helping Ukraine or potentially help them in the future because of the sheer volume of Russian equipment they've uh, traditionally had. Now, on the same note with regard to F-16s in Ukraine, the occupiers as in the Russians, are promising to pay 15 million rubles, about $150,000, for the destruction of the first F-16 fighter uh, in Ukraine, according to the Defence Ministry of uh, the Russian Federation. Uh, the Ural company Forez, which supplies oil towns with propent, plans to pay the reward. Um, propent, propellant. Uh, the same company announced last year that it would pay 5 million rubles, $50,000 for the first destroyed Leopard and Abrams tank. I wonder, wonder whether that ever did happen since there have been destroyed Leopards and Abrams. Okay, and then moving on, uh, Germany intends to significantly reduce military aid to Ukraine in 2025, Reuters reported citing the country's draft budget. The German government plans to allocate 4 billion euros to Kiev next year, which is half of 8 billion provided in the current year in 2024. Right, when I first read this, I was like, the first thing that came into my head is like, German aid to Ukraine is not going to be happy with this because I'm fairly sure this is about the budgeting, the early doors budgeting at the beginning of the financial year, if you like, or, uh, to say that we are going to put this much towards support for Ukraine. And then throughout that year, stuff gets added and added and added until it's double what they started with. That's what's happened for the last two years. The uh, We've talked about this recently, and it's not that they're they're cutting it, it's that they're doing exactly what they've done on previous years. In fact, someone posted a German aid to Ukraine uh, thread from July the 9th pretty much saying exactly that well anyway I was then uh, then perusing the threads and indeed German aid to Ukraine like before most people here read an exaggerated article in the German media uh, which whose main purpose is just to scare people and get a lot of attention and then draw the wrong conclusions from it I would like to comment briefly on the German military aid to Ukraine plan for 2025 currently the Minister of Finance is said to have budgeted just over 4 billion euros for military assistance to Ukraine in the coming year draft budget that's around 3 billion le yet less than the current year which of course sounds terrible at first however I'd like to point out that this was also the case last year and there was also a lot of panic for after multiple newspapers published articles saying the German uh, has budget issues and has only planned that for 4 billion dollar euros of military 
related Ukraine aid. The funds were later increased by around 3 billion euros and negotiations are currently underway to again increase the Ukraine aid by up to 4 billion euros. This means that if everything goes according to plan, the original 4 billion will be around 10 billion in the end. As far as 2025 is concerned, Bilt, the tabloid newspaper, reported, for example, that the German MOD is planning with 15 billion euros, i.e. 9 billion more than the Ministry of Finance is currently budgeted. According to uh, the Budget and Defence Committee in the Bundestag, at least the funds approved for this year should be earmarked for next year. If we add everything up, we can assume that another 7 billion euros will be earmarked for 2025 and most likely even before even more than 10 billion euros. After all, we could see that the current funding in 2024 lasted only for half a year. It would therefore be completely absurd to plan for 2025 with less than 2024. In my opinion, assessment uh, nobody should panic or get unnecessarily upset when he or she reads an article in this regard in the future, which I am sure will come at some point when it comes to money, especially amounts of the billions of euros. There are always negotiations. So that was one from July the 9th. And that was what he has um, reposted in reply to himself in reply as someone else reposted his thread he reposted that in re reply to Nexter who was who was going along with what the German sources are saying so you know all there's always a good time to be skeptical of what even mainstream media are claiming or maybe often what mainstream media are claiming Germany on the same topic of Germany allocates 10 million euros to restore the Ochmetit children's hostels so the one that was taken out recently by a kh-101 missile in kiev the allocated money together with funds of other donors will be directed to the quick recovery of the hospital and the preparation of the building for winter operations so hopefully they can get onto that quick enough they can get it uh, up and ready by winter a uh, russian train loaded with t-54 tanks has been seen at uzanovo station in the Mos station in the moscow region this is significant because these are t-54 tanks these are very old tanks and they are bringing them, I presume it looks like the foliage is summer foliage, so I, I presume this is recent footage and they are bringing uh, old, really very old tanks to the front lines, which suggests that they don't have uh, the, ca the capability of either producing or refurbishing enough T90s, T80s, T72, so on and so forth. So... We, yeah, I think that is a pretty important indication there. Anyway, that's enough from me. Not too much for the military aid and equipment today. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Speak soon.